Hey friends, it's Essentially Jessie. Today I wanted to share with you guys an affordable fragrance haul. I've been looking into more affordable fragrances and I want to share what I have found with you. So let's get to it. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys are here today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in all things perfume, fragrances. I do a little essential oils. I do some extra stuff. I think I'm going to do some like layering fragrances videos and not just layering two fragrances together, but also like how to make your fragrances last longer by layering you know, a body wash and a body lotion and then your fragrance just to make it last longer. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, I'm dying to know where you guys are from. So if you will drop that in the comment section along with your fragrance of the day, that would be so fun. Clearly by my accent, I'm from the South and I'm obviously from North America. So anyway, if you wanna drop your state, your country, whatever you prefer, that just seems like a fun way for us to get to know one another along with your fragrance of the day because that's important too. I am stoked to share with you guys an affordable fragrance haul. I was wanting to do some more research on celebrity fragrances, affordable fragrances. Do they last? Do they not last? All those things. So I want to share with you guys what I got. And I'm not even sure how many fragrances I have, but I have a few here. I got all of these on Fragrance X, I believe. And these are all $40 and under. I have some mega surprises at the end. I have four niche fragrances that I got extremely affordably, but there's a little caveat to that. So you have to stay to the end to find out about these niche fragrances. So I wanted to start off with the coolest looking fragrance that I picked up. This is Pepe Jeans London. This is Celebrate. So turquoise, green, they're my favorite colors. When I saw this bottle, I just bought it just because. I also bought the pink version of this and I actually gifted it to someone for Christmas because when I got it and smelled it, I, it immediately made me think of my friend Becca. And so I gave it to her and she was excited. And now when I see it at her place, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. It's so fun. So are you guys ready for this? And I don't know, they only had two on the website. So I'm not sure if they have more of these or not, but they are so cute. Oh my stars. So I sprayed, so when I get fragrances, I'm, call me weird. Um, I spray like the, the box. So it opens, you op whoops, it, it opens like this. So the fragrance is actually in the top and this is just the cute little stand, but it's very, like the way they have it packaged works really well. Um, I'm just gonna spray inside the box. And this is more aquatic feeling. I'm loving this. If you like Mac Turquatic, I think you would really like this. It might be a little bit sweeter than Mac Turquatic, but Pepe Jeans Celebrate. And I love the name. It is so cute. And I don't know, it's just it's so cute. <laughs> I can't get over it. Okay, Pepe Jeans London Celebrate. I move on. Okay, next is one I already got out of the box. I got a lot of these out of the box. This, These are the ones that look like the lipstick. Okay, this is called Yes I Am. This is by Casherelle. Casherelle, yeah. This is the one fluid ounce. So like I said, I instead of doing the tester strips, I just used inside the box because I think that that's like the best way to do it. So you spray it like this. It's so cute. So this is Yes I Am. I think that this is the original in this line of fragrances. I also got a flanker. It's really time consuming whenever you're, okay, I like this. It is really nice. It has a little bit of that lipsticky vibe. Sorry, I'm like ADD brain over here today. Um, I do like it. It's not my favorite out of my haul. I've already sprayed these in the box once, but it is a nice fragrance and how cool looking is that to have a lipstick for your perfume. When I'm doing research on these fragrances, I mean, I just surely picked this one because it looked cute and then I looked at the notes and thought, okay, I'm, I am going to like this fragrance, I think. And sometimes you can look at the notes, like it'll say white floral, citrus, rose, and you think, I like all three of those. And then you get it in the mail and you're thinking, that's terrible. But I don't have any like terrible blind buys here. And these are all blind buys. So this is an affordable fragrance haul that is all blind buys. Don't do that unless you're crazy like me. Next, I'm going to show you 
Killer Queen by Katy Perry. This one looks pretty cool. I didn't even know Katy Perry had fragrances. I'm not crazy about the packaging because it comes out like this, but it doesn't stand up. So there's really no other way to package it safely than to put it in this little plastic thing. But I think that the fragrance itself is really cool looking. It almost looks like, I don't know, a dagger or something. Anyway. So, Katy Perry, Killer Queen, let's smell it together. I don't hear too much about Katy Perry fragrances. I didn't realize she had so many. Okay, this is really good. Whenever I opened my package, a friend was over and I asked Cheyenne, I said, hey, what do you think? So, I sprayed them all in the box and she was looking at the packaging and how cool they were. And Anyway, she liked this one. I do remember but I'm going to test these out for longevity for you guys because I want to give you the full picture. But I also just want to let you know kind of what they smell like. I mean, I, I think I picked this up for $13, maybe $14. I love picking up fragrances from discount websites, especially whenever I'm blind buying because I think, oh, I don't want to have to, I don't know. I, but I think that this was like $13. I think this was like $20. So I think everything that I picked up, in fact, I know everything I picked up was for sure less than $40. Most of them were around the $20 to $23 mark. This is Yes I Am Pink First. So this is a flanker, I believe, to this original Yes I Am. This one is the exactly the same except it has the pink top. And they're so cute. I just really like these. Okay, this is pinkier. It's pinky uh, description of a fragrance. This is really good. So I, as I was opening these, I didn't hate any of them. And I was super thankful for that because sometimes when you blind buy, you know, you just get something that you don't like. But these are affordable fragrances that I wanted to try out for you guys. Because I really want to do an affordable fragrance top 10 list. Like fragrances that are under 40 or $50. I think that while some of us want a huge bottle of Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford... Others of us want, I mean, honestly, I don't care if it's niche, if it's designer, if it's, you know, Katy Perry's fragrance, if it smells great and it lasts, you know, decent amount of longevity, then it doesn't matter to me what genre it's in. Are the more niche fragrances typically more complex? Yes. But if you like something, wear it. It doesn't matter if it's a $300 bottle of fragrance versus a $20 bottle of fragrance that you got on Fragrance X. And I will say, Fragrance X also has designer fragrances. They have niche fragrances. I am in no way sponsored by them or paid by them. I'm just telling you guys little tips and tricks to save some money because perfumes are expensive. Okay, so I like that. So that's Yes I Am Pink First. Next is a fragrance that I had never heard of. Okay, I'm going to open this one first. This is an I, an I, an E, an E. I'm not sure. I just looked it up and <laughs> you say this, Anais. This is by Cacharel, which is owned by L'Oreal. I picked up the 1.7 fluid ounce. This is a fragrance that my grandmother wore. And this is a polarizing, like opposite end of the spectrum from what my grandmother normally wore. My grandmother was a smoker. She wore like really heavy, dark fragrances. Loved it. Maybe that's where my love for perfume started. I always loved playing on her perfume tray. But this was also on her perfume tray. So this is tiny, but it's actually 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's a lot in a little package. And I will reiterate, some of these companies package in this really thick glass. And you think, it, you feel like you're getting more. They're actually not. This is a powdery, it's like a breath of fresh air. This feels like replica bubble baths like older more mature sister but this is a nice fresh clean scent for getting out of the shower getting out of the bath if you're like i don't really know what i want to smell like today i just want to smell good this anais anais is going to make you smell great anais is actually a girl's name in french i just learned and it also translates as holy so there's your little like uh language lesson for the day <laughs> With some training in opera, I had a lot of training in how to pronounce words, what they mean, different languages. Anyway, can I speak another language? No. I'm doing good just to speak English. <laughs> 
Okay, so I continued my Casherelle journey and picked up a more a more electric kiss. And I think that this one was Cheyenne's favorite, my friend that was smelling them with me. It is really nice. So it comes, and I love the bottle. Okay, so it comes in this bottle. Only thing is, I'm not sure if this is supposed, I don't know. I don't know and I don't wanna break it. But it comes in this pink and red bottle. It looks really pretty, really cool on your nightstand. So I'm just gonna spray it. So this is a more Amore electric kiss. There were probably three to five a more a more like this is a flanker for the original. It's a little bit peppery in the opening. So this is one that you're gonna smell and you might think, whoo, that's different. But then as it dries down, it gets sweeter. I feel like there's some bergamot in here anyway, but it's got a pretty stout opening. I won't say it doesn't smell bad. It's not like pungent, but it's just different. And then it dries down and it's sweet and it's really pretty. So this is a more and more electric kiss. All right, the next two I'm going to go through pretty quickly because I wanna get to the end because I got something really cool to show you guys. Okay, this is uh, Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker, Born Lovely. Oh, and then I got Jennifer Aniston, Chapter One. Okay. So, Born Lovely is really cute. I love the packaging. The bottle, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit gray. It's, the juice is not clear. And I think it's just lovely. <laughs> um, when it said Born Lovely, I really wasn't sure what to expect here because, like, is it going to smell like baby powder? Like being born? Or is it going to smell really lovely? Like I was just natural. Like, okay, it does have a little bit of powdery vibes. It's been about three or four days since I got these and smelled them. I haven't really worn any of these yet. Yeah, I wore two of them. Um, but I'm going to give them a fair go and then bring them back to you guys and say, hey, this one's worth it. This one's not. You know, for 20 bucks, if you like the scent, toss it in your purse and just respray a whole bunch. Um, but it is a really nice fragrance. And I love, I just think the packaging is so cute. I think this is cute on anybody's table. Now with the price points here being $40 and under, you're going to have plastic caps and things like that. But it's still, they, the presentation I think is still really nice. Okay. Lastly, and then my surprise, um, Jennifer Aniston chapter one. So it's gold on that side. And then it has a picture of her on this side. Oddly enough, she's got a huge engagement ring on in this picture. Anyway, I'm not sure when this was released. I didn't really do a whole lot of um, other than what they smelled like. I didn't do a ton of research on these perfumes. Please excuse the train. <laughs> the train. I love, I watch my videos because I want to get better and improve and all those things. And sometimes I say something about the train and you can't hear it. And then other times I don't say anything about the train and you can hear it. So we're close to a train. It's loud and unpredictable. Anyway. I digress. Okay, so this is really cool. This is kind of like a contoured bottle where it's not just round. Um, Jennifer Aniston, this is chapter one. Let me know what is your most favorite affordable fragrance. Anything that you can get for less than $50. Even if it's, when it's on sale, it's under $50. Or, you know, if it's $50, $40, full price. What is your favorite one? I know that there are some that are super, you know, Rihanna's Rebel Floor was very popular for a while. I actually decluttered that or I am, I still have it for sale on my Mercari. Um, the most popular of them all are the Ariana Grande for a while. Jessica Simpson fragrances were popular. I love those. Uh, Britney Spears had some really popular fragrances. Some of these, like the Katy Perry fragrances, either I wasn't into Katy Perry when she was launching these or something. I just missed the boat on perfumes. So I want to know which ones you guys are loving. Affordable fragrances, whether they're just affordable fragrances or whether they're some kind of like celebrity fragrance. So let's try out this Jennifer Aniston chapter one. So the top just is gold and it just says Jennifer Aniston. This may have been her first perfume. Okay, this is really nice. Okay, I like this a lot. Um, it's just real like, I wouldn't say fresh and clean. It's a little bit more mature, but it's clean, it's nice. I like it. Okay, so we've got these two lipsticky ones. We've got this one. I'm trying to 
come to some sort of organization and it's impossible. So <laughs> I'm sure I could get more organized than this, but okay. I'm just going to move these up because I'm so excited to show you guys what I have to show you. Okay. I picked up fragrance X. Okay. It just says fragrance.com in here. I picked up two bond number no. nine fragrances. Hello bond number no. nines. Okay. Bond number no. nines, even the littler bottles run you about $250 and that's for, I think 1.7 fluid out. I think those are 50 mils. And then the larger bottles that are the probably hundred mils are $440. They are so expensive. So I'm not going to blind buy a bond. But when I was on the website looking at all these, I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I just kind of freaked out for a minute. I got bond number nine, Aster Place. These are $21, something along those lines. And you get a niche fragrance. That is a lot of perfume. I think these, I want to say these are either eight, nine, or 10 mils. Probably eight or nine. Because it doesn't look quite like 10. But I could be wrong. Um, and it says on here what it is. It's Aster Place. This is a fantastic way to try out niche fragrances at a dirt cheap. I mean, dirt cheap. Whenever you get on the Bond website, you can order their discovery set. That it comes with all the, and they look like little Bond Bonds. They're so cute. But a bunch of their little one mil, two mil samples, they're so expensive. Like the discovery kit or whatever they call it. It is so expensive. And so whenever I found some bonds on Fragrance X, I would thought, well, I'm just gonna buy these because these are 20 bucks and I can get a really good wear, figure out whether it's worth it. Because when you're buying a fragrance that is north of $200, you really wanna know when I get this fragrance, I'm going to love it. I'm gonna wanna wake up every day and put it on and all those things. And so um, I thought if I'm, I'm buying bonds then. Okay. So Aster Place has been highly recommended by someone in the fragrance community. It's fresh. It's clean. It's not like my speed so much, but it is a nice fragrance. It wears really well. It isn't super long lasting. I did give these a pretty good wear. Okay. Then the next one is Nolita. Okay. This is the cutest bottle you guys. It's white and then it's got red, orange, and hot pink like kisses on it so cute um but uh i will be picking up this smells so good i love this it's fruity it's very it's much more feminine i feel like aster place leans very unisex i feel like nolita i don't even know why i'm showing you this like you're gonna anyway this is nolita by bond number nine and this is simply beautiful it's fresh it's fruity i have madison avenue i'm not this is what this one looks like. Same thing. You can, it's so they're labeled on the outside and they're labeled on the inside. So if you swapped them out, then you would know for sure what you're wearing. Anyway, those are my tips and tricks for buying $20 niche fragrances where you're not spending an arm and a leg and you get the best bang for your buck. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite affordable fragrance. Are there ways that you know of to get inexpensive niche and designer fragrances? I want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. At this point, I'm here every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We're kind of switching some things up, trying to test out the YouTube algorithm just to see what works the best. So anyway, that's, that's where we're at. And I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe. Also follow me over on Instagram. I post fun pictures. I think I'm going to post some more Bonnie, my little dog. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.